Uh, we're going to take a break. Don't go away. Afterwards, I'll be chatting to Sean Bean, and we'll have music from Rizzle Kick. See you in a couple of minutes. Thank you very much. Welcome back to the show. It's time for my next guest. Uh, before we bring out there, first, uh, let's have a look at him in one of my favourite movies. I'm sure you love it as well, Lord of the Rings. It is a strange fate that we should suffer so much fear and doubt over so small a thing. Such a little thing. Follow me. Give the ring to Frodo. As you wish. I get not. I'm going to get the box set out of the weekend and watch it all over again. But here he is. Please welcome Sean Bean. <laughs> Sean Bean is in the house. Hey, that's uh. <coughs> You're getting more screams in JLS. <laughs> <laughs> you better be able to sing. Um, <laughs> hey, uh, congratulations on those films. Just watching that ball back, so many happy memories at the cinema. I remember when I saw the first one, blew me away in it, and it could have gone either way, couldn't it? It was a big challenge yeah. for everyone taking that yeah. on. Uh, I'm sure great memories for you making that. Yeah, it was. I mean, it was a long time. When you think about it, it's about 11 years ago now. Yeah. And uh, when I first got the part, I didn't realise how uh, it was going to escalate into such a big, Huge. epic uh, number. Uh, and was it a, a tough shoot? Was it physically arduous? Because you were there for quite a while, quite a chunk of time, weren't you? Yeah, it was about a year we were there, and uh, we, we just got to know each other, made some good friends, and, you know, New Zealand's a great place, it's quiet, you know. Stunning scenery, and a lot of it you shot up very high, and I know that you, 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 you won't fly, will you? Or you no, shoot, If you can avoid it, you don't fly. I don't like flying. Oh, OK, now I've got used to it, but at that time I was very... I was a little bit scared, you know, and, um, and they... That scene that you just saw, that was up on a, on a mountain and, yeah. and some uh, uh, glaciers. And we had to go up in this helicopter and with a glass bottom and you've got turbulence and stuff like that. And that was, that was really scary for me. So when, whenever I could use any other means to, um, to get to, this, to, the, to the location, I would do. And that included... Um, I, I used to walk for quite a long... I used to get all my costume on and everything, my hair and everything. And I used to walk about half an hour up this, this hill, quite a steep hill. And there was a ski lift, and so I'd sit on that, and they'd wind so, me So, dressed as Boromir, with your sword and your shield. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, just like that. Freezing as well, I imagine you must have been. <laughs> and then they dropped me off there, and I'd, I'd sort of hike another half a mile, you know, wow. just because I didn't want to get on the uh, helicopter. And, and how it took I... about two minutes to so get So, a two-minute helicopter ride? Yeah. And in Sharp, of course. How many yeah. years did you spend on Sharp? That was a big chunk of your life as well, wasn't it? I suppose we started in 1992. That was the first one, and we shot in the Crimea. And we were if, away for six months, you know, and it was pretty grim, pretty uh, hard work, that, you know. And we went, went to the Crimea for three years running, and, you know, so we were away from our families and kids and stuff like that, so it was tough, you know, just to get food parcels in and stuff like that. Because when you went out there, weren't you, didn't you take some food with you when you first went out there? Mm. This is because I, you weren't sure you'd like the local food? Yeah. What did you take with I, you? I took a lot of pies. <laughs> <laughs> so you took pies to India? <laughs> OK, what kind of pies? What they call it, three bentos. The steak and kidney. Pie. <laughs> so the ones in the team. Steak and kidney. Yeah. I tell you what, though, they are great pies. They're brilliant. There's something about a three bentos pie. They're, they're brilliant. Oh, the pie. <laughs> and also, I like the fact you use an old-fashioned can opener. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Take that off. Pop it in. Fantastic. Oh man, I want a pie now. <laughs> so how, how many do you take with you? Maybe about eighty, ninety. Yeah. Eighty or ninety. <laughs> Uh, how long do they last? How long do 80 pies last to working men? They lasted towards about a week from the end. Yeah. <laughs> a week from the end? Everyone just... thought it was one week then, you'd have yeah. like 80 <laughs> pies. <laughs> uh, the fans have connected certain words with Sharp, the character of Sharp, uh, and they've put some tributes. Have you ever seen any of these? No. Okay, we've no. kind of done our own one for you, because it's kind of, obviously there's a lot of Sharp shows they made. There are an awful lot they made, so, you know, this isn't a representative of every episode, but we put a few together, and it's a, it's a word that Sean says in a certain way that just sounds brilliant. I think you'll enjoy this. This is our little tribute to Sharp. What's the matter, you bastard? Can't go your tongue. Oh. Any man comes between me and that bastard, I'll kill him. <laughs> Stand by, you bastard. <laughs> Come on, then, you yellow bastards. <laughs> what are you waiting for? Cavalry? I've shit him. 
And you, the bastard, weren't to be trusted. Bastard. Bastard. The son of the bastard he were. Bastard. That's pretty good, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, dear. <laughs> so, just for the sharp fans, can we have a new one right now? What, bastard? Yeah, there you go. That's the only one. There you go. That's it. <laughs> yeah. That doesn't normally get a round of applause, that word. <laughs> normally, normally people are a bit worried when they're told that. Uh, hey, uh, Sean has a new movie out, ladies and gentlemen. A new movie coming out on the 9th of March. Uh, all over the country. Uh, see, a very strange title. Um, I know mm. what it means now because I've seen the movie, but will you explain to us what it means, clean skin? Clean skin is, um, uh, uh, in kind of political terms, with, with, with the police and anti-terrorist units and stuff like that, is someone who's not got a history, who's clean, who's, who's got no, no, no Ill, um, record, no criminal record, and therefore can operate much more um, uh, easily um, than someone who is a suspect. So, someone they're so, not keeping so this out. is the people that, who, the, who are recruited by, uh, by these groups to... Um, you know, to do, to do certain operations and set bombs off and stuff like that. And if you're clean skin, you've, it's very difficult to, to, to track you down and get hold of you. So but I'm trying to track this guy down, you know. Yeah, and so you've got no idea who he is, of course, because he has no, no. no previous form at all. No, no, record. no. It's an interesting film that it's... Um, it's, it's, it's an intelligent film, that's why it's interesting. It's not just solely a, an action film. It's, it's, it's politically, you know, politically very, very curious. And, um, you know, it shows both sides of the coin, which is what I like. You know, you see these guys doing this, you see me doing that. And um, it's, uh, it's, it's quite a complex... It's, it's, you ask, maybe ask questions about it afterwards, you know, yeah. you think, well, yeah... It's one of those and I'm not where... told everything in it as well, you know. Well, that's what's interesting, because no one is necessarily what they seem to be. No. You know, and your question, your character, we call into doubt a lot of his motives, but then gradually as the film unfolds, you call into doubt everyone's motives. Yeah. A bit more. Let's have a look at a clip from uh, Sean's new movie. It's called Clean Skin. It's out March the 9th. Clean skin. Say good night. Thank you so much for being here. It's great to see you again. Mm. Uh, I was uh, surprised recently. There were some pictures in the office, and they had pictures in the guests before they come on. There was a picture of quite an attractive young lady, I thought. And it turned out, uh, I'll show you the picture now. It's pretty hot. I said, Who's that? It's. <laughs> I, I thought it was that one who won Big Brother a few years ago, <laughs> Chantel. But no, it's. Uh, I thought it was. I was looking quickly. But this is you in your mm. forthcoming part. What's yeah. this film? That's Tracer. And. Uh... <laughs> And it's called, um, it's called The Accused. It's a, a series by Jimmy McGovern. Oh, it's the TV it's a, thing? Yeah, which oh, I've always wanted to series. work with. And uh, this is a particular chorus called uh, Tracy's Story. And the, I'm Tracy and I'm Simon. So Simon's a really a school teacher and he's quite dull. And, but now Tracy, she goes out and she's loud and she's... So see, that's, his, that's his alter ego. So, so you're, you're a character who's a cross-dresser? Yeah, transvestite. How, how do you get in the right frame of mind for that? Do you practice with the heels, that kind of thing? Mm, yeah. Because that must be hard yeah, to walk in there. Quite a lot, yeah, with, with that. They give me some practice heels. Uh, and I've got about four pair left still in the kitchen, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Just uh, some of them were six inch, and you know, they, they really hurt. I don't know if any women in the audience, they, must, they, they do hurt, don't they? If they're high and they're tired. So I know how you, how you feel now. <laughs> <laughs> did you go and meet any cross dressers to talk to them about yeah, yeah, what they did, go yeah, through yeah. and how it is? Manchester up there and uh, went out Saturday night and met a few and it was good and we had a drink and chatted and you know you just, you just get a feeling and what what, what they some of them you know some of them, they're all very different you know like we're all very different as individuals so they're very different as to transvestites and they have different moods and different preferences but they were great fun to be with and we, we were dancing in a club with them and um, it's been shot on film and I was with them all with my bag and you know <laughs> and it was a great scene I was dancing with 15 transvestites and we're all laughing and woo <laughs> I thoroughly enjoyed it. I bet you, you did. <laughs> Maybe too much. <laughs> was there a moment when you felt like shouting, I've never felt more alive? Yeah. <laughs> 
Hey, uh, I love to have you back here. Uh, great actor and just a, a great man. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Sean Bean. Thank you. 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 Thank you.